like getting out of their car or calling their kid inside. Wait, what am I saying? Kids don't play outside anymore. They might get seduced by some homicidal drug addicts. Ah! <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa Damore, and I'm the author of Detroit. And today I'm reaching out to ask you to help sustain Playwrights Horizons, one of the most caring artistic homes I've ever known. For me, it really is a writer's theater, and they pride themselves at identifying a, a new talent and getting also good work from a stable of writers that they've worked with in the past. I also noticed this season it's a rather, unbelievably fortuitous that they're presenting so many female playwrights as well. I think five out of the six or, or five out of the seven shows are, are written by women. Well, it's my first New York show, so that's really exciting. I remember doing a reading of a play call, of mine called Rust years ago at Playwrights Horizons and Tim saying how much he respected and liked it and he had such great feedback for it and I thought wow I would like I would I would love to come back here not only is it like a personal goal of mine to be produced here and so to have that happen is like almost too much like it's like you can't think about it it's like when you're in a really good relationship <laughs> get them knocked up as soon as possible if you thumb your nose at being a homemaker you just better hope what you gave all that up for was worth it <laughs> I kind of you know, sort of grew up in the theater feeling like that was where the really cool, deep, interesting young playwrights wanted to work. You know, when I, when I first moved to the East Coast, like Playwrights Horizons was the place I would go to like see work I was totally blown away by. Thank you so much for supporting Playwrights Horizons. That has been such an amazing home for my play, The Whale. And please consider going to playwrightshorizons.org and making a donation today.